Okay, so there's the house. As you can see the patio, those are the four columns. Looks pretty Mediterranean, kind of epic. And then here I'm gonna take you into the garden. So as you can see, we got grass that's still filling in that we've planted. There's our little fire pit. We've got these little stones that are like a compass, northeast, southwest. We planted all little roses, lots of plants around that are small right now, but they'll get much bigger quicker. Got this little stone pathway. Over here, we're going to have like a little mini orchard. We've got sapote, mandarin, orange, lemon, avocado, uh, orange, papayas. And then down there, we can see all the bananas growing. And then this is back, back to the pathway that I was just walking down. We've got these cool little stairs. Follow down. Back onto the pathway. Down here we've got more more bananas and then this is all planted with stuff but then all the weeds are in there between so we'll have some nice kind of ground cover with little flowers in it that covers all that up. Makes it look nice and clean. Here we've got like a little another cute little pathway that goes over here. And this is a little flat circle we've dug out that I think eventually we'll probably put like a little grass hut gazebo there. It's a pretty cool little spot. A little, another little horse up there from the neighbor. And we will have two neighbors eventually, really. Just one to the right of that big tree you see there in the middle. And then there'll be another house right there, right in the middle of the screen. Those, uh, those guys will come probably in the next couple of years. Okay, there's a little bit, there's, well, there's quite a bit more to show in the garden, but we won't make this video too long. We're back into a little pathway here. And then this, this, this pathway will all fill in with grass. You can sort of see we got stones in the middle and the grass is all still filling in. We got another little pathway here. Another little stone walk, you can see that. That goes down to the second banana patch down there. And there's a creek down there. It's dry right now. It's quite a, it's not a very, very wet rainy season this year, which is good because the garden is it's gentle. We'd like a little more rain, but not too much. Uh, because we've got lots of exposed soil, so we don't want too heavy rains. Here we've got just this is like just a whole bunch of clover we planted in this area. This little pathway continues. We've got these hoses throughout the land. That was one of the first things we did was dig out all the the whole the irrigation lines all in the property. And then this little pathway continues down to the very bottom. More steps. And this is another cool little spot right at the right at the top or the bottom of the land. Where you have the creek runnings on both sides. So you have this little creek here. We've planted some things in here, like you can see that like these big broadleaf plants, we've planted those. So eventually we'll fill this all up with really nice looking plants. And uh, this is the very first tree on the land that we planted. So you can see he's already like quite a bit bigger than he was when we put him in. And uh, yeah, now I'll just walk you back up and you can see it coming up. cactus planted there. This here is this stuff called mani, which is peanut. It doesn't actually give peanuts, but it's a peanut plant. And that'll cover up this whole area eventually. It's good for keeping the ground together. It has deep roots.
There's again that little walkway down there. And there's a little circle, flat spot, which might be kind of like my office or something. And put like a nice little sitting area there, separate from the house. And then this continues up. And then there you can see the house at the top. Here we have a papaya plant. Here we have like a little orange tree. Yeah. All right guys, there you go.